Hi, I'm Aidan Rodley and this is Mainland Matters and we are coming to you from Rickerton Racecourse on a fairly brisk Monday as we get ready for Wednesday's Hospitality in New Zealand Canterbury Grand National Hurdles from Rickerton. And of course we did see the key lead up for that race here on Saturday on Winter Cup. They were ma magic day of racing as well and terrific to be here as well for TAB Trackside. Uh, the race we'll just take you back to and have a look at in the lead up to that race is the Sydenham Hurdles from Saturday. And of course uh, just a, a fairly small field in the end was taken out nicely by He's Rick. We expected this horse to be going straight to the front and under Hamish McNeil He's Rick was able to to, to lead them up and, and did a really nice job as well. And uh, you can see as we pick them up here, He's Rick is uh, just being joined by Hey Happy at the top of the straight. Now Hey Happy had travelled nicely in third, went up to challenge on the turn, but uh, you can see that uh, under Hamish McNeil, He's Rick just goes clear, jumps nicely throughout as well, and Hey Happy uh, did run nicely on for second. Intellectus in his first race for, for quite some time, first race for a couple of years, closed off really nicely to finish into third position with Delco Chowan finishing into fourth money and not a bad run as well leading into uh, Wednesday's Grand National Hurdle. So that's uh, the running of the Sydenham and obviously there's key stats around going from that race into uh, a, a a race like the Grand National as well. There's been 18 horses who have been able to manage, in fact there's 19 horses who have managed the Sydenham Hurdle Grand National uh, double in the same year, that Hurdle double, and the Kevin Myers team have won four in the past with Mark Oligan four as well. So Kevin Myers with six runners in the race, he really does dominate this field, and uh, Mark Oligan with uh, with uh, Del Kulchoan backing up from Saturday. So Kevin Myers, Mazina, Happy Star, He's Rick, Hey Happy and Intellectus along with Kiddo. So six of the eight runners and if I can take you back into what they've done in the past uh, Kevin Myers scoring with Lucky Tip in 2002, Mahanadi in 2013, Tally Ho Twinkleto uh, won the hurdle in 2015 and Nga Rio uh, picking it up in 2016, Mark Oligan's four runners previously ran in 2000, uh, of course he went on to win a group one chase uh, overseas, You're the Man 2006, Counter Punch 2007 and Water Buzz in 2012 so Two trainers who, between them have seven of the eight runners, have eight previous Grand National Hurdle successes to their names, and that is uh, really some sort of feat. Uh, also, uh, we'll have a look at the Coral Steeplechase later in the week. We'll try and get another Mainland Matters in later on in the week as well, uh, leading into Saturday's Grand National Steeplechase. On the flat, a couple of horses just want to have a look at. Happy Star, this was some sort of performance, and this was a, a lead up into the, the National Hurdles as well. You can see the horse uh, here, just a really happy in his work, as his name suggests. He was an eight length hurdle winner leading into this win here on the flat on Wednesday, and did it really nicely as well. So on that performance, he's got to be a key contender into the National Hurdles here on Wednesday as well. Of course, the, the big race here on Saturday was the Winter Cup, and Lord Darcy uh, will go back and pick up uh, the running of this as well. He was able to just tuck in behind them, sixth or seventh position, one off the fence. Terry Mosley cornered one off the fence and then made his move. He, he strode up to them very nicely with purpose, and in the end, this has been just some sort of win. Another brave performance from the front-running Summer Festival, who runs into second spot, and the horse who's making very good ground out wide on the track with a, a, a really good late finish is Very Flash, who uh, picks up uh, third prize money. Very Flash is entered for Wednesday, whether he runs or not, not too sure, uh, but he'll be some sort of contender if he does take it, uh, his place in that open 2200 metre race here on Wednesday. So a couple of really key performances there. One horse we wanted to look forward to for Wednesday's meeting is another horse who did run here on Saturday. I want to take you to the run of, of Kinky here. This was in the last race on Saturday. And he does go around in the amateur riders race here on Wednesday. So you're looking for the horse here in the Paul Harris colours and in the end just closes off very nicely indeed. Just look at the horse making very strong ground uh, there. 
uh, on the inside, stayed on the inside after settling in last spot. Taramir Laird just zips home down the outside, and this has been a super win from Taramir Laird, who is likely to take his place here on Saturday on the undercard. Zarkat uh, goes with him, but uh, look at the horse down on the inside. That's Kenki, who really does close off nicely. He does go to the amateur riders race, goes uh, around with Leah Zeidenboss in the saddle. Now, Leah Zeidenboss has got a terrific amateur's record. She's had 14 rides in amateur races for four wins, and this season, nine rides in amateur races for four wins, so that's a key combination. If the horses come through Saturday okay, then uh, even the changes surface back into the poly track, I think not too bad. So that's uh, a look ahead, looking back on to, to Saturday's uh, meeting, the Winter Cup Day, and of course we'll be here on Wednesday uh, on the poly track meeting, of course the feature races, that, uh, that, that terrific jumps race of the Grand National Hurdles out here uh, on the turf where we're standing right now. That's the only race on the turf and it is the only jumps race here on the Wednesday meeting. Look forward to Saturday as well, as we said, we'll try and get another mainland matters in. We've been out and about speaking to a few of the key connections. We'll get that action for us on trackside as well. In the meantime, enjoy uh, mainland matters for today and look forward to Wednesday's uh, Grand National Hurdles Day at Rickett. Thank you.